welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you are struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. Let us look at question 18. Z varies in the three as the square of X and directly as 1 and Z is equal to 6 when X is equal to negative 3 and Y is equal to 27. Find them a value of k the constant of variation b the value of z when y is equal to negative 6 and x is equal to negative 2 values of x values of x when y is equal to 8 and z is equal to 1 again this question comes every year in every paper there is a question on this one it's either question 18 19 or 17 around that Dangers. So the questions remain the same, just the numbers are changes. So M, um, the first thing that we need to understand is uh, there are two. There is uh, inversely variation and direct variation. So inversely means as one increases, the other one should reduce. So Y, then I can have uh, 1, then uh, X. So this is inverse because as X increases, the value of Y reduces. When x reduces, the value of y increases. That's what it means. I can use a different color like that. That's the inverse variation. Then when I have this one like that, when x increases, y increases. And this is direct variation. Take note of that. So we can now proceed. So I'm saying z inversely varies as a square of x so x we square it then and direct as y so y direct then we multiply by the constant this constant is the k we are being asked to find so this is what it means so now we are told that z is 6 when x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to 27 so we can substitute there so z is equal to 6 when y is equal to 27 then k is equal to negative 3 so I mean x so we need to square that because x is in negative 3 the common mistake is someone to say negative 3 then you square it like that not in brackets this will give you a negative 9 which is totally incorrect so never do this so we need to put it in bracket. Then at this point we can simplify. So we have 6 is equal to k times 27 is 27k over negative 3 times negative 3 is a 9. Then at this point I can divide 9 into 27. So I'm going to have 6 is equal to 9 to 27 is a 3. 3k. Then I can divide by 3. Divide 3. So this tells me that 2 is equal to k. So the value of k is 2. So once you do that, you're good to go and you get this question correct. So I can go and write here. So k is equal to 2. Then I get this one mark. Go back. Question B. Value of z when y is equal to negative 6 and x is equal to negative 2. Now, if you've messed up k, there's no way you get b. There's no way you get c. So you have to pay attention to question a. Question a usually asks you to find the, the constant. In 99% of the questions, it will ask you to find the constant. So you need to pay attention. So having found k, you can substitute in this one. So z is equal to 2y of um, x square so substituted then I can use a different color so we are looking for z is equal to 
it is 2 what's the value of y the value of y is negative 6 so it will be negative 6 we wash out for negatives then divide by we have x which is negative 2 so again negative 2 wash out is out to be in brackets then you square it because this x is x square then after this you can simplify 2 times negative 6 is negative 12 then divide by negative 2 times negative 2 is a 4 which is positive 4 then you divide there you are going to get negative 3 so negative 3 is the value of z so you come here you put this negative 3 then you get the one mark you can go to c so c find the values of x when y is equal to 8 and z is equal to 1 again we will use the same which we found this one but now we are finding the value of x so these are two values they will always if you say the values unless this is the cube root or the cubic multiply x three times then you find the three values but since it's a square there will only be two values but we know the value of y is 8 and z is equal to 1 so we need to z to y x square the value of z is equal to 1 and the value of y is equal to 8 so it's just a matter of substituting so we have 1 is equal to 2 times 8 over x square remember the question is asking us to find the value of x so I mean the values of x so at this point now what we do is we just do cross multiplication so x square times 1 so we do cross here we have x square is equal to 2 times 8 is 16 so we are looking for the value of x so introduce the square root the square root so the square root of x square is x what's the square root of 16 so there are two square roots so we have we can have negative 4 times negative 4 we get 16 then you can have 4 times 4 we get 16 so here we have positive or negative 4 so x is equal to negative 4 or 4 so we have negative 4 or 4 once you do that you get the two marks then you are good to go so this is how you answer this question so just master the principles when you understand the principle then this question is a giveaway before you even write any exam you know the question that is coming there is no need for any leakage mathematics is funny